So um, something I had kind of planned on talking to you guys about here is some of the sound treatments that I did on this record. All right, so yeah, we're gonna do sound treatments. It's gonna be some really pretty UI, and then, but wait, it's the OSX terminal. Oh my God, kill me right now, right? One of the most powerful, powerful DSP platforms is, is called CDP, which is Composer's Desktop Project. Composer's Desktop Project is something that runs in the Mac OS X terminal or it runs in uh, DOS. So for those of you interested in this, and I'm gonna probably, we might pick an opcode or two and we'll crunch a little bit of audio, I'll show you something that we can do with this. And when you see it, it's gonna blow your mind, I'm warning you, and um, it's not as bad as it looks. Okay, so you think, oh my God, we're opening the terminal. Installing it, honestly, is harder than than using it. So we need a CD2 uh, sounds. Wait, let me see what directory we want. Um, and then, oh cool. So I've got a little voiceover in here. So let's do this. This is my sounds directory. Let's see. Which lives in BT. Okay, so we're gonna change directory to BT. Yes, it does exist. Okay. CD sounds. Okay, cool. So we're in it. So um, it involves just, you know, really simple learning of terminal commands, changing directories, listservs, all that kind of stuff. Like really simple stuff. It's not, that part of it's not heavy lifting. The part of it that is hard is learning the opcodes. Now you think, okay, so I make tracks and reason. Why in God's name would I ever want to open the Mac terminal to do this? So there's a song that I'd like to refer to you to on my new record. It's a song I did with Artie and Nadia Ali. It's called Must Be The Love. And in that song, I did um, an opcode in CDP called Distort Interpolate. In fact, that's gonna be the, the opcode I'm gonna show you. So, here's, hang on one second here. Okay, so right here, these are all the different types of digital signal processing operations I can perform that are of the distort flavor. Okay, so we've got averaging, um, delete distortion, overload, filter, interpolative distortion, pinching, crazy things you can't do in anything else. Um, and so you guys know that this is not some wanky academic thing. Like I said, please go listen to that track, Must Be the Love, and listen to Nadia Ali's vocal at the beginning of the track so you can hear a good example of this. Because I don't know really what we're going to come out with right now. So, But we're going to try something, okay? So. In the same way as Super Collider or uh, C Sound works, you call an opcode, right, which is your digital signal processing operation, and then you call the arguments for that opcode, which are the variables. So anybody in the use in the room use uh, C Sound, Super Collider? Okay, cool. We got some C Sounder. So, um, so. It's, it's similar to that, it's offline. So nothing happens in real time, you don't get any fancy, pretty GarageBand UIs or anything like that. This is for the big kids, but it's worth it. Um, and, and I mean that, that it's worth it, because there are other paths you can go down that are equally or you know uh, hard that, that aren't worth it. And this, this actually happens to be worth it. So I'm gonna pick Distort Interpolate here. So the way that you call an opcode is like this. Okay, so right now, I just, all I typed into the terminal was distort interpolate, right? It tells me the, the, the version number of CDP, and then it tells me what to do. So I've got, I call distort interpolate, I call the name of the in file, I name my out file, and then I set the multiplier, which is the third argument, right? So this is actually like a really easy opcode to use. Okay, so first, let me see what this voiceover thing is that's in my sound folder. 
It's going to be something really silly, I'm sure. Let me see. Okay, so it's this vocal saying, you are now skylarking with BT, okay? So we're going to take this, it's an A file, um, and we're going to say distort, interpolate, and then vo.aif, and we're going to name it vo distort interp and we're going to name it dot a i f and then i'm going to put for my one argument my multiplier that i need to put in here i'm going to put two just to hear what it sounds like okay so that just made me a sound right now okay and it put this sound right there in my folder okay so this is what that sounds like so, come on, okay? Seriously. So, and I like just randomly picked the variable two. Let's do one more because it's just too much fun. I could do this all day long. Um, all right, and so you can copy what you wrote, which is what I just did. I'm gonna change the variable and I'm gonna change the name of my output file to to sort of interpolate two, okay, All right, three. So it's in our sounds folder. So here's our second one. So, and it's crazy. I mean, some things that have no harmonic characteristics take on, you hear the amount of bass in that? One of the things I love to do is to work on sound designing as an event unto itself. So working on music, writing songs, doing arrangements, that's a completely separate activity and interest for me to sound design. You know, and interestingly, I fell in love with music through sound. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.